what's crack a lacking everybody um been a couple weeks we're a little stressed out but it's okay because i'm back with the thing that all five of you who watch my videos want to see and that is my new place so um if you didn't know i moved to florida and i am currently in a studio apartment um there's like a air conditioning right here it's not gonna get turned off so if it's bothering you i apologize deeply ignore it okay so if you can see anything back here just ignore it it's uh all clutter so the first thing i'm gonna start with is target because that's where i went first i'm gonna start off with the biggest thing and that is my kitchen mat that i got Swack myself in the face so it's the kitchen mat that i got it's just this i do believe this one is like 15.99 it's from threshold that's the um like target oh there it is the target brand it's machine washable which is great i tried getting everything out of the bag so that way we could just look at it without hearing so um one of the first things that i got y'all i usually can't find swimsuits to save my life um and then I look like the Pillsbury Doughboy in them. Um, so I was at Target, which usually doesn't sell anything close to my size. And I found a 36D um, Leopard Boy. Oh my gosh. And then like the back has a clasp. So the band is like, you need it to be semi-fitting. And then it just like ties as well. These are backwards. Oh my gosh, these are the roughly butt ones that I've never tried before, but I have never been able to get a whole like matching number from Target or from anywhere. I mean, other than Walmart, I mean, they have pretty good sizes at Walmart, but the patterns aren't the same. So yeah, so I, feel, I still have to try this on completely, but it looked like it was gonna be a good fit. So I'm very excited. Going in with the swimsuit, I did get another pair of shorts. I don't have shorts, uh, funny enough. I have like one pair and they're ripping in the seams. Um, so these are an eight high rise shorts, fitted hip and leg, vintage stretch. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. Um, these are from the Universal Threads. Um, some other random things is I got like these command hooks that are, um, like the little ones you can hang up garland and lights with these and i want to do like lights around my bed almost like a mock bed post thing and then i also got a giant command hook for inside the shower so always look for the waterproof thing to hold my loofah very random thing is i got a little heat pad hot pad for my cast iron skillets a couple of my last things which are a little bit in the beauty um area is the orly nail defense my nails are peeling like i don't know can you see that can you see it can you see it they're peeling bad so i haven't tried the orly brand i'm gonna try it see if it works um i also got refills for my razor which is the flamingo razor which you can only get from target so that's why i got it there and lastly, I got some Vaseline Intensive Care. I've never tried the Cocoa Radiant, and I'm going to try to stay out of the sun. So I figured if I don't look so pale uh, when I get out of the shower, I might not hate on myself so much. Uh, and I also got the Sunbuff Face 50 Sunscreen. So this is water resisting from 80 minutes, which is good because I is it sweat resistant though? Is like that a difference? Because I'd be sweat. It is breakout free. <laughs> We'll, we'll test that out, we'll see. I did go to Big Lots, and some of you guys are sleeping on Big Lots, and I usually do too, but sometimes you just go in and you find something that surprises you. So I got a fruit bowl. I know, the most exciting thing of the day. It was only $10, and it's like, not janky. I mean, that's all we ask, so. Uh, I mean, definitely worth it, obviously, because I bought it. The next couple things are from Home Goods. What you're gonna see in a minute once I show you, like, my kitchen, apartment, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any drawers. So I needed a utensil holder, as one does. And so I got this one. 
Look, it's a little honeycombs. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? It's kind of small. Not gonna lie, I don't think that I'm gonna fit all my utensils in here. Um, just because it is kind of small. But they did have other, like, designs or one without a design. These are kind of etched. It's kind of etched into it. Um, so if I need to go back, I will. But And on the topic of no drawers, where am I gonna put my silverware? Home goods came in clutch. So there's like, this is actually how I decided to get the wooden utensil holder because there's like this caddy so I can put um, like, you know, forks and spoons and then my knives and like my straws and my chopsticks because I got weird stuff like that. Um, but this was only $19.99 and to be honest, this is my first time looking at the price. Um, it was one of those things where like, I knew I needed something and I was like, well, it can't be that bad. And so from Home Goods as well, I got this little basket set. This is $14.99. And I will tell you, I went to all three stores today, Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx, and there were several options. So this was Home Goods was the first place I went and I was like, ooh, this is like a cute, you know, it has like natural tones to it. <laughs> um, and then when I went to Marshalls, there was like one that was like the it had like black instead of this like neutral color uh like woven into it and i was like oh should i get this one instead and i was like no because i get black everything and i need to like jump out of my comfort zone and lastly the old boy right here um is this it's a stool by the way i got this like it was in the bathroom section so it's like a in it the weight capacity is 220 pounds that's how like i was confirmed that it was a stool so originally i was gonna put this in my bathroom but i thought it was like i don't know i was like whatever you know um but then i ended up finding better options so this was only 39.99 and i'm gonna use it as like a bedside table now it kind of goes with like the wood and black theme that I've been doing but at Marshall's I found a planter <laughs> I mean come on a planter um I really like the black accent with like the neutral tone in this again with my room I am growing mint <laughs> um she's outside right now so I can't show you her but she might end up going in this or some other plant. And the other thing I picked up from Marshalls, which was $15. And did I need it? The answer is positively no. Did I want it? Yes. So it's this little garland um, of ghosts and pumpkins. Oh. The last thing for this like mini haul, whatever, um, is the basket i'm actually gonna put in my bathroom so this is it it's like this is the one that's also 30 dollars and you see can you see and it gets like smaller and smaller as you go up and as you can see the price it was 29.99 so like this is a pretty good piece of furniture it's pretty sturdy i did again do the floor test to make sure it wasn't wobbly um i'm not you know really into the gray because it just doesn't go like it does go but i want it black but the best thing is i looked at this in store but you can unscrew um the bottom right here and take the wood out so i can spray paint it so it'll look like it's like raw or whatever so yeah this is the last bit for my haul. I'm very excited. Now I'm going to put everything away and kind of show you what's going on with my shithole here. Alright, so walking in, you see to the right a storage closet. So I just keep various bathroom things, towels, beauty products, medicines in here. And then I do have a nice little rug. That's kind of fun. And going into the bathroom, I have some racks as well as like a little glass shelf. And then I have my little caddy here full of stuff. Moving over, it's me. And I have my sink 
um and then my shower so nothing too spectacular but i do get a full-size mirror on the back of the door so very fun so moving on over here we have my closet um basically all my clothes are up here i still need to get rid of these hangers um and then i keep like some of my other stuff that's just random knickknacks on the top i still need to like move them all where they need to be um my vacuum and then i'm just kind of a mess down here just you know we're still moving in so i also have a really nice mirror here um and then going into my room itself i'm gonna do a little pan it's just a big old room. So starting over here in the most boring spot, we just have a kitchen table, an outlet, and then here's where my dresser is with my TV. I keep all my makeup here, my clothes, and then this gets messy often because I get ready here as well. Here's one of my new plant friends, and then a makeshift little bed just to give me another seating option. And then we have my bed up here, my little spooky garland. And so I also have my bedside table with all of the things that I need. So kind of fun. Moving into my kitchen, I do have a stove with four burners. Um, it's a little bit smaller than normal, but it's really okay. And then I just have like my cabinets, which are kind of fun um, to see what's in them, I suppose. It's just a little overview there. And then this is my snack cupboard or like dry goods, but this is my snacks. <laughs> On my countertop, I just have a couple necessities. Um, my fruit bowl and then just a little look as to what's down here have a lot of containers and then I have like potatoes and like package type things so yeah up here I have my microwave which did come with the apartment and then just a couple decor options I keep my wine behind the microwave. I have my cute little magnets here. I am a big fan of magnets and I usually try to get them anywhere I go. So just a quick glance into my freezer and my fridge because I always think that's kind of like interesting to see what people have going on. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that way I know that you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more about Florida, how Florida is to me, and moving out for the first time um, to see how my adventure goes. <laughs> but I thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.